Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and today I want to speak to you about how to manifest the job you want. Yes, how to manifest the job you want. The reason I decided to do this video at this time is because I know there's a lot of people out there watching these videos that are in need of a job or will need a job very soon. With everything that's going on, this is the best time to do this type of video and I hope you watch this video all the way to the end and absorb all that you can absorb so that you will be one of the good ones, one of the blessed ones to have manifest the job that you desire. So now if you're new to this channel, this is the Law of Attraction metaphysical channel that brings to you information in an easy to understand manner to change your life. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell to receive notifications of my up and coming videos. So now let's get started. Now, what is it that I have to say about how to manifest a job you want? I've done it many times. I've manifested so many jobs. I've moved up the ladder so many times at my job. I've done things over and over again. And I really want to explain to you how I went about doing this so that you can do the same and manifest the job that you desire. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is, first of all, you must want to work. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that say they want a job and they actually just don't want to work. Now, there's a lot of people out there that do want to work. And if you are sure that this is something that you want, we can move on to the next step. Now, once you decide that you want a job, the next thing to do is to get yourself in the right frame of mind to actually open up and be ready to receive that job. Listen, if you're not ready to receive a job, even if you want it, you're not going to get it. If you're sitting there saying, hey, look, this is not going to happen. This is not going to work. Everybody's looking for a job. There's no jobs out there. You will not manifest that job. You are actually repelling that job away from you and it can never make its way to you. So once you decide you want a job, you must open up and be ready to receive that job when the opportunity come to you. Now, moving on. If I wanted a job, if I needed to get a job, the first thing I would do is after I know I want it, after I'm ready to receive it, I would then see it. I would see it. In fact, when you, when, once you are ready for that job or once you desire that job, you're already seeing it. Now, what is it that you actually want? What type of job do you want? How many hours do you want to work? You should really know all of this before you even start, okay? Now, what I would do is that once I decide what type of job that I want or the area of work I wanna go in, I would then visualize. I would visualize myself actually having that job. I would visualize my family congratulating me on having that job. Now listen, when you visualize, you have to visualize as if you are already in the possession of that job. Let's just say you wanted to use an interview as your visualization. So the interview would be the ending results of the interview. It would be the interviewer congratulating you on receiving that job, on being accepted to that job, okay? Once you see the picture, I want you then to feel the interviewer hand in your hand as you shake hands. The whole purpose of visualization is not to dream all the time of receiving something. The purpose of visualization is to actually see what you want and actually step into it and become that person that you want or see that situation or be, that, be in that situation that you want to be in. So when I say this, when you dream, you're just dreaming. When you're visualizing, you should be feeling, tasting, smelling, seeing, the whole nine. You should be sensing. If you're gonna feel something that's gonna make you sick, you should be feeling that while you're visualizing. I wouldn't do it because that's not what you want. But do you understand what I'm saying when I say visualization? You have to feel 
taste, smell, sense, whatever it is you're trying to create in your life. Now, when it comes down to manifesting that job, maybe you want to visualize yourself receiving a check in the mail or getting your paycheck um, at the job, wherever it is you desire to work. The more you know about that job, the more you know about the area where you would like to work, that makes your visualization, the manifestation even better because you are actually aware of all the things that go on at that job and it makes it easier for you to visualize, to actually put it into action, okay? Another thing that I would like to say, you cannot go around worrying about not having a job. When you have worry, when you have doubt, you are working at a fear level. And that is one of the lower vibrations that there is when you're looking to manifest something. Fear is a category. And when you have fear, all of these things fit into that category. And you are actually repelling what it is you desire away from you. So now, what is it that I have to say about manifesting your new job, manifesting the job you want, is that you have to have faith. You have to have belief in the God that dwells in you, that if you see it and you be it in your mind, it actually will manifest on the physical plane. You have to stay calm and you have to really have faith in the God that dwells inside of you that that job will come about. Now, I tell people, write out what it is that you want. Hey, look, write it out. Don't write a book. Very simple. Just write out, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new job. I just was hired. I'm making such and such amount of money. I am so happy. I'm able to do this, 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 and this. The only thing that I would like to say when it comes down to visualization, when it comes down to um, affirmations and scripting, you have to believe what you are writing, okay? If you write down, thank you God for blessing me with this job that's paying me $1 million a month, do you actually believe that is so, okay? You have to be honest with yourself. Don't go out there writing things down that deep down you don't believe you're going to get. I'm manifesting being the president of the United States. That is fine. But if you don't have the education to go behind that, to get to that level, how are you going to manifest being the president right now? You have to do things that you believe. And as you accomplish them, you move up to the next step. So let's just say you wanted that job. You wanted that job at GMC, put it that way. And you wanted that job and you got the job as a salesman, okay? And you manifest that job as a salesman. The next step would be, for me, would be manifesting the job as a manager or a CEO. You are already in that position and it makes it that much real to you that you can have that next job. These are the things I'm telling you that you must do to manifest your job. Have fun. I tell everybody, have fun. When people write me and they tell me things and they're coming from a fear point, I'm saying, why are you doing it? Why are you trying to do something if you're afraid or if you believe that you're not going to have it? Visualization, manifesting, scripting, um, mirror work is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be something that you're doing and you're doing just to be doing it. And it's bringing up anxiety because you're actually pushing away whatever it is you desire in your life. This is very important, people. If you're trying to manifest the job that you desire, that the job that you want, you have to see it first. You have to really want it. You have to believe that you can have it. And the main thing that I tell you in every one of my videos, take action. While you're home, not working, have you done your resume? Have you checked out places that you would like to work? Have you gone by those places and actually look at them and visualize yourself walking out the door as, a, as an employee? If it's that business that you want, did you visualize yourself having that business? Did, are you putting action into the steps that it requires for you to start that business? What are you doing? 
or are you watching TV, listening to music all day? Don't get me wrong. I watch old school movies. Listen, I play my old school music. But at the same time, I do devote time to taking action in the things that I want to do. So listen, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. I just spoke to you about an easy way to manifest the job you want. If you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, and tap that bell. And remember, this is My World of Metaphysics, the Law of Attraction metaphysical YouTube channel that brings you information in an easy to understand manner to change your life. You can follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can receive one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can also go to store.myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can buy crystals and metaphysical items. I also have Teespring that you can find on the website or on YouTube where you can buy accessories from My World of Metaphysics. You can also follow me at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Again, this is Yvette. Namaste.